Hello everyone and thanks for watching Edupedia World Videos. In this video, I will show you the solutions to the physics questions of paper 2 of JE Advanced 2015. I will solve the problems as they appear in code 1. Let's look at the next question. We are given a reaction 236U92 goes to 14054XE plus 9438SR plus X plus Y. Now if you look at the options, X and Y are either, either a proton, a neutron or an electron. Right, so we can just balance these. We know that 140 plus 94 is 234. So X plus Y has to have a total sum of 2. And 92 is equal to 54 plus 38. So it has to have an atomic number of 0. That means we have to have 2 neutrons. That means X is a neutron and Y is a neutron. They cannot be protons, they cannot be electrons. Right, because protons and electrons would have atomic numbers and we do not want that. Now. For finding the kinetic energy, we are given the binding energy per nucleon. Now, the binding energy per nucleon is the energy required to break up the atom. So, if an atom is breaking up, it is absorbing that much amount of energy. And if an atom is forming, it is releasing that amount of energy. So, these two will release an energy equal to 140 multiplied by 8.5 plus 94 multiplied by 8.5. And minus the energy absorbed by this will be 236 multiplied by 7.5. So 236 multiplied by 7.5 because 7.5 is the binding energy per nucleon. There are a total of 236 nucleons. Remember nucleons are protons plus neutrons. So this is the energy absorbed. This is the energy released. If you calculate this, it will come out to be 219 mega electron volt. This is the total energy released. And we are given that the kinetic energy of X and Y are 2 electron volts each, 2 mega electron volts each. That means these two have a combined kinetic energy of 215 mega electron volts. We see that all the four options have the sum equal to 215, but we know that A and D can be the only correct options because X and Y are neutrons. Now, let's look at another thing. Kinetic energy can be written as P square by 2M. So, P is proportional to the energy multiplied by the mass. We know the energy of X and Y is 2 mega electron volt C. That is the energy is smaller than the energy of these two. Also the mass of X and Y are smaller than the mass of these. So the momentum of X and Y has to be much smaller than the momentum of these. So we will neglect the momentum of X and Y for now. And by conservation of momentum, since initially this was at rest, we know that the sum of these two should have net momentum 0. That means they both should have an equal magnitude of momentum. If momentum is equal, that means the one with the lower mass has the higher energy. So in this case, SR will have the higher energy. Right. P square by 2M. If P is the same, then M, if M is lower, then energy is higher. So SR will have the energy 129 and XC will have the energy 86. They could have some other, but those are the only options given to us. So my answer to this question would be option A. Thank you for watching Edupedia World videos.